hello my friends welcome to my channel way to well today we are going to learn how to install oracle 10g not only that but uh, we will uh, learn how to connect it how to enter in the username because all other channel channel they don't uh, they don't show you how to connect uh, with it with the database but today I am showing you how to connect it with the database so that it can work properly so that you can so that you can uh, uh, work with the Oracle 10G so let us start first of all you have to go to the Oracle website where you can download your Oracle 10G here but before that you have to sign in if you don't if you don't have a, a username password then you can sign up here otherwise you can't install is you can't download the software so first sign up then sign in and search and then you can find your appropriate database but uh, here I am going to show you how to install Oracle 10 G and how to connect it and how to enter in in the username so that we can uh, work on it. So let us start. I have already downloaded it here. Oracle 10 G. Then as usual, we we got the setup areas. take some time here you can see there is a basic installation and advanced installation I will go advanced installation then we can choose this one it's already Chakad Enterprise Edition then next keep it same here you have to check all those everything is succeeded and then you can go to the next and then here if you want to create a database if you don't have a if you have already database then you have to install software only because it is a two things database and the software when you install software you should have already installed a database so that the software will be connected to the uh, database but uh, we are going to install it from the scratch so we have to install both the things software as well as the database so let it be here and next we are doing it for general purpose usually it's for the students uh, whenever they install software they they did a lot of mistakes but if you watch my video you can install it properly and uh, practice the oracle 10 g here this thing you have to remember this global database name whenever you are going to install this section is very important so you have to name it so that you can remember I will name it Oracle so next
then next again next next here you have to give your passwords is it three important accounts in the oracle database first is sys sys username is the is administrator user after that n not no user is on top of sys it's a main username uh, when you in this sys and system you can uh, make different usernames with different privileges in this system username and these are other two which we don't discuss here because it's for the students uh, entry level it's for the expert level so who will enter password here so that all the usernames here you saw will be same password I will give some username here so next hello access now install now oracle database will be installed here it will take some time now it's completed the installation process now it's configuring again you have to allow access it's a java.exe you just have to watch it how it is installed here it's completed click ok now exit installation completed ok click yes now we will see here it has been installed or not Click Oracle, then navigate. Application development, SQL Plus. As I said, you that uh, we entered the password for three usernames like Sys System and says DPA here we can now check system I know it will not work but still here you may remember that we gave the global global name that we entered the oracle ok it didn't work because as I already told you that it will not work because we didn't connect uh, usually most of us uh, whenever we install Oracle we don't after that we installed completely after that we stuck here it's only because uh, we don't connect the uh, software with the database so how can we connect that part that's a very most important thing which uh, which we usually miss so we have to go here or you can see this configuration and migration tools here you can see the net configuration assistant
here we have to configure the this name method configuration it's already there then uh, we have to configure this local net service name configuration service name as we already gave it oracle here it should be tcp host name what will give you host name you have to go here computer properties and whatever it is you have given the name you have to this computer name will be your host name microsoft it is and it should be always this port number 1521 yes test login the system username what you have gave already while, while installing uh, oracle the same password you have to put here say connecting test successfully next would you like to configure another net so no because we already configured the things and finish now it will work smoothly now we'll go again here application development and then SQL plus now give the username system your password you have already given while installing I will give the same here and here what you have given so service name oracle now it will work see now you can practice here and please uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel like my videos and please don't forget to share